We now have all eight Master Medals. I think you know what we have to do next. Yee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to go over to the snooty Pokemon Dome who kicked us out just because we didn't have a couple of medals. It's so rude of them. <laughs> so anyway, I did a little modification to my Rain DDR deck because this is the deck I'm going to be using for the first duel here. And I'm going to give you a little tour of what I did. It's basically me moving cards from other decks into this deck to make it the best possible deck that I can at this moment in time, even though I don't have an ideal setup of cards. But, you know, it's my deck! Gotta do with what I can do. <laughs> so, let's go in! Only those who have won all eight Master Medals may enter the Grand Hall. You have won all eight ma Master Medals, enter the Grand Hall. Okay, snooty voice. Here we are! The final area in the game! Big time arena! Big time duels are to be had right up on that stage! So let's go! Possessor of all eight Master Medals, enter the dueling stage. However, you'll be unable to turn back. Eh, yeah, sure. In that case, enter the dueling stage. It's not like they can kill me. <laughs> Unless they're gonna be giving me death of a thousand paper cuts by cards. Welcome to Pokemon Dome. I am Rod, leader of the Grandmasters, and this is Grandmaster Courtney, the Fire Queen. Grandmaster of Lightning, Thunder Steve. Grandmaster of Ice, Gentleman Leapjack. We are the four Grandmasters who guard the legendary Pokemon cards. If you can defeat all of us, then you will have earned the right to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. More cards in my collection? Yes! <laughs> Mark, take your place at the table. Alright. Your first opponent shall be Courtney. Here we go! Hmm, hmm. Hi, Courtney. The Fire Queen shall be your first opponent. We shall see if you can take the heat. A six prizes match. <laughs> Let's go to it. The Legendary Moltres deck! And in my opinion, this is the most powerful deck in the entire game. That's why I made sure to prepare my water deck as best as I possibly could, and... Oh no, it's failing me! <laughs> well, let's see how things go. So, as you can tell, these uh, peeps here are sort of like the Elite Four of this Pokémon world, or at least I get to go first, that's nice. Um, so, expect much pain. Uh, yeah, she's got this version of, version of Moltres as well. Uh, you've probably seen this one by now, and it has potential for power, but the main Moltres is a Moltres that is a legendary Moltres, and it is something else. Because of that certain version of Moltres, she will never, ever be low on fire energy. Here it is! This is the legendary Moltres card. It has Fire Giver. It's, it gives you one to four random, well, one to four fire energy cards chosen at random from your deck when you put it into play. Not on the first turn, though. Here we go! <laughs> so she gets one. Oh, she only got one. That's not bad. But still, the, the ability to pull fire energy card out of a deck... I mean, fire energy cards out of a deck that uses fire energy cards, you know, because of, like stuff like Arcanine, you know, those discarding effects that uh, fire Pokémon tend to have. Very, very powerful. Anyway, plus power plus the bubble equals 30 because of the weakness. So, Vulpix is down. Now let me have a Paisic Pokémon, thank you. <laughs> Psyduck will work. Oh, she's putting out the legendary Moltres. By the way, these legendary uh, cards... Oh no, she's got another copy in her hand! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Let's see how many she pulls this time. It's one, now it's two... We've got three in her hand... And four! Oh, she maxed it out! <laughs> so, we know she has at least uh, four fire energy cards in this in her hand at this moment in time. So as I said, she will never ever be short. Ah, uh, ooh, Articuno, very nice. I should probably focus on powering up that bad boy. Because that is probably going to be my best bet against her beastly fire Pokémon. Now remember, uh, you don't have the—I mean, you don't have possession of the legendary cards at this moment in time. So the, the grandmasters literally have a slight advantage over you in that regard. So make sure your deck 
is ridiculously powerful. <laughs> well, as powerful as you can possibly make it. And I just I decided to evolve there because I can do some bites and call it a turn. Now, I am a little worried about the dive bomb though, because I could knock out War Turtle. But yeah, okay. <laughs> I was hoping that wouldn't happen. I was just kind of going off of a uh, blind guess of luck in hopes that everything would go well. Might as well evolve Golduck there, get things set up, and bite away! Nom 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 nom! <laughs> Alright! And she's putting out the other Moltres, which is most likely going to be powered up by the time I am able to knock it out, unfortunately. Once again, because of all those Pokémon powers of Fire Giver and... <laughs> but I can only do as much damage as I possibly can do before that time happens. Since she needs three specific Fire Energy cards, I could potentially get an Energy Removal card. That's always a possibility. And come to think of it, I might have actually... Wait, hold on a sec. Phone! I'm coming back, don't worry! I completely forgot what I was talking about, though. <laughs> but that's okay, I'll get myself caught up by checking out the field and whatnot, so... Let's go like so... Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, I kind of forgot where I was gameplay-wise, like where things were going and stuff and stuff and stuff. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Let's just do a bite and hope that it will not do a dive bomb of doom because that would make me very, very sad. Please do not dive bomb. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 she didn't try the dive bomb. She didn't try the dive bomb. There is hope. There is hope. <laughs> Alright, let's keep up the pace here. For some reason, my deck is doing wonderfully decent. <laughs> Somehow, even though... I mean, yeah, it is a water deck, so I have a slight advantage in that regard. But, you know, her Moltres cards don't have any weakness uh, to water. So, that kind of nullifies the whole water aspect sweeping her cards. But the thing is that I'm knocking out her Pokémon and getting lucky on ye olde coin flips. So I will most certainly and happily take advantage of that because her deck is sometimes very, very hard to get over. Oh no! Oh, it's that version of Magmar. You know! Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> and I sense a flamethrower coming. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what I could do is save my War Turtle for later and do a Blizzard by doing a retreat and swapping out the Articuno. And and then and and then and then and then. Um, ah, maybe I should get a Dugong going here uh, by computer searching one. I'll do a switch and another switch. Oh, right at the top. I'm gonna draw on it next turn. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Alright, let's do that, and let's Blizzard, because our canine at least has weakness to fire. And also, I got lucky on the coin flip, so I'm doing damage to the bench Pokemon of hers as well, so that'll that'll speed things up a little bit as well. Hello, Staryu, happy to see you. Get it, you and you, I forget it. <laughs> Although, I'm not happy to see that Magmar, for it can potentially destroy everything. I know and love. <laughs> I, don't, I can't believe she hasn't taken a single prize yet, though. That is ridiculous. I, especially with how weak my starting hand turned out to be. Uh, I could get a, a Blastoise out by uh, computer searching for a, um, a Squirtle a little bit later next turn, then evolving it to Wardle or Tortle and then Blastoise. But I'm going to save that. I am just going to go for a freeze dry because. Ah, okay, I'm not going to do anything. Not going to do anything at all. <laughs> because of the smoke screen of doom. Uh, if I manage to get an attack off with Articuno, I do win the game. You know, a freeze dry because of the whole. You know. Uh, weakness thing to water. And yes! Yes! 
Yes, I win the game and she didn't take a single prize. No, seriously, her deck is the most powerful in the game, I think. I, I always remember having so much difficulty with her. <laughs> Even when I use the water deck, I don't know, maybe it's just like I'm a lot more experienced than I used to be. But in any case, I won! Woo! I lose. But that's no surprise, seeing as all you've come this far. Your next opponent is waiting for you. Very good, Mark. Your second opponent is Steve, the Lightning Guy. Ah, Thunder Steve and your next opponent. Hey, you want the legendary Pokemon cards? You must defeat me first! Is my deck ready? Actually, why? Why? Mm, mm, mm. Oh, mm, oh, oh! But yes, I would like to prepare my deck. <laughs> See, uh, just like the Challenge Cup, rather than losing and then getting booted out, um, you know, from like having something unlucky go your way, you can save your game in between matches and then just resume uh, from your last save. So, yeah, I'm gonna probably take advantage of that. <laughs> just for the sake of a nice, clean walkthrough flow sort of thing. I mean, I'll show you if I lose two one of the Grand Masters or something like that, but what I mean is that so I won't have to rebattle the first couple of Grand Masters uh, over and over and over again. And, you know, it just cuts out the bad luck um, out of the scenario just for the sake of walkthrough progression and whatnot. I have beaten all these guys um, without doing the save trick and whatnot. Oh, and I should not use the Rain Dance deck, by the way, because I'm going to be dealing with a Lightning deck. But I'll decide what I'm going to use. Probably going to be Charmander and Friends, because he uses Lightning Pokemon, and I've got some Fighting uh, Pokemon in there. Might even swap in some of those uh, Diglets and Dog Trios. I mean, just... Have you seen them? Just look! Look at that! Six rare Dog Trio! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I probably won't put in the Dog Trio. As I said, they're kind of kind of iffy cards with their low HP and whatnot. Although their resistance to Lightning might, might be... Uh, a boon to my deck building, but I'll I'll think about it between parts. I have a whole part to think about this. <laughs> but for now, I'm gonna end off the part here and save again. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.